today I wanted to do a video that was a little bit different than just tutorials and beauty related. I wanted to share with you my snacks, the things that I have been reaching for. Most of you, if you've been watching me for the last few videos, I may have mentioned, I know I did in my May favorites, how I cut out all sugars. And the reason why I did that was because I wanted to have a healthier lifestyle. I wanted to cut out all of the desserts and all the junk food that I was eating because my son eats what I eat now. And I wanted to make sure that I was offering him healthy choices for snacks and for food. Now we eat the same things uh, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, we'll have pancakes and if we do, we'll eat them without the syrup because that has a lot of sugar, oatmeal, eggs, um, all kinds of things that you would eat for breakfast. I just try to make sure that it's not a lot of sweet, um, I guess a lot of sweetened breakfast items. Uh, for lunch is the same thing. Dinner, we eat spaghetti, pasta, pizza, pretty much everything that we did before. Um, I don't like my dinners to be sweet. I don't like sweet sauces. I don't like fruit mixed in with my meats. I don't like any of that. So we eat the same thing. The only thing I've changed is the sugar intake for snacks and desserts. Also, I do come from a line of family that hereditary, even it's in my genes, that we have bad teeth. So I have been dealing with cavities um, and restoration of my teeth since I was young and so I realized I wish that I would have paid more attention when I was younger and I would have been more on top of eating healthier and I didn't. I ate a lot of candy, I ate a lot of sweets and so I find myself prone to cavities. So, and cavities come from eating a lot of sugars. So what I've done recently because I didn't get the best news at the dentist when I was there not that long ago. Um, I do have to do some work, but it's things that's fixable, it's not really bad. But I don't want to lose my teeth because I'm eating so much sugar. So I'm going to share with you some things that I snack on, um, things that I drink as well. Uh, I have it all laid out here, I pulled everything out of my fridge um, for the most part. So I'm actually going to start with what I like to drink. Of course every morning I have to have my coffee. That is a non-negotiable, I will not give that up. But what I've done is I have started drinking my coffee, straight black as usual, but with no sugar. I know it's bad to have that kind of bitter taste and it's awful, but you know what? It's for healthy reasons. So basically anything for the K-cup um, or the Keurig, cure, cure um, I will drink. So that's something I don't change. Um, I am a big tea drinker, so what I've done is I've bought, store bought uh, iced tea, but I get the unsweetened version. And if I do get it sweetened, I mix it with water and dilute it. I do like to drink... Um, sparkling water. Now I gave this up for, it's been about maybe two months since I've had sparkling water, maybe a little less. And I just recently got some more yesterday, that's why I'm doing the video, I bought all this yesterday. Um, but this is my first one in a very long time and I'm kind of savoring it. But plain old, flat, regular water is the best thing for you. Um, if you want juice, uh, the juice that I like to drink and also for my son is the Mott's for Tots. This is the one with 40% less sugar. The reason why I cut the sugars out of my juices is because apples have a lot of sugar in them. They're good for you. Some people say they're bad for you. This has 54% juice, but it's also mixed with um, filtered water. So this is basically a diluted version of apple juice. It's You can drink it just like that, or if you want to dilute it even further, you can. Um, I do that for my son. I mix this with water. But for me, I drink it just like this, and it's delicious. Um, also, you have probably heard and read that um, coconut water is very good for you. We drink a lot of coconut water. My husband is a coconut water freak. That's pretty much one of the only things he drinks during the daytime. I don't like this particular brand that I'm showing you, but this is what he drinks. It's the Goya um, Agua de Coco, but it does say it in English on the opposite side. It's the coconut water with the little floaty like pulp bits in it. I don't like this one because I find this a little sweet for me. Um, but my husband loves these. My mom drinks this all day, every day. She buys them by the cases. I like the brand. It's called One, I think. Um, it's like in a blue container with a little um, a screw top lid. That's the one that I like. Um, and it tastes, for me, a lot more mellow with the sugar. This is a little sweet for me, but still the coconut water is very, very good. It's a, it has a lot of electrolytes and it's also just good to hydrate you in general. Um, I do drink tea, as most of you already know if you've been watching me for a while, but there's specific kinds of teas that I like. The Lipton Green Tea, this is the blackberry pomegranate, it's also decaffeinated, so it's good if you um, don't want any caffeine. I love this because I don't like just the flavor of plain green tea. For some reason, I can't do it. I'll take a couple sips and then say, eh. So I like the ones that are mixed with the fruit. I also like to mix that one with the Celestial Tea, this is the uh, Raspberry Singer. 
ras raspberry zinger. <laughs> Can't even talk today. This is also caffeine free, so this is also very delicious. It's a little bitter because of the raspberries, but these two teas mixed together are so good and you can add ice or I just let mine kind of cool for a little bit and then drink it a little slightly warm and it's really really good. So that's it for my uh, juices and stuff that I drink. Now for fruit, I have incorporated more fruit in my snacking times of the day. My son loves fruit. We have fruit here all the time now and I'm really happy that I've cut out chips and cookies and I replaced them with fruit. So of course I like to eat bananas. Um, I like my bananas still a little green. I don't like them overly ripe. I find when they're overly ripe or just a little bit ripe, they're too sweet for my liking. Um, and that's when I'll use them for banana nut bread. I'll mix it with pancake batter and make pancakes out of it. But I like mine with a little bit of green. I usually get them all green and just let them kind of slowly turn yellow and then I'll eat them. So I like those and they're good. Um, because it has, uh, I think it's fiber and potassium out of those. It's really good for you. Um, also, apples. I get, these are the gala apples. So just get, uh, you can get them by the pound. You can get the sack of apples that come already prepackaged for you. Those are good. Um, we do like to eat grapes. Um, I love green grapes. My son likes them as well. But my husband eats the red grapes. Um, so these are red seedless grapes any sort of ones. I know that they're on sale now, um, but sometimes they can be kind of expensive. So if they are, just pick a different fruit for that week. We like strawberries, but I don't have, we finished them off yesterday, so I don't have the tray to show you. So for fruit, that's pretty much it. Whatever's on sale, we get mangoes, we get um, pre-cut up pineapples, all that kind of stuff. Fruit salads as well are good. I just don't add any honey. I don't use any sort of um, granulated sugar on it, none of that. I know that these already have a lot of sugar in them, so just stick to natural sugars found in your foods. Not like dessert sugars or added sugars that are not healthy for you. Also for sugars, I know that there's the Splenda and like there's the Truvia and the Stevia. I don't like those. They taste completely artificial to me and they actually make me feel sick. So i rather just have everything just plain Jane than to substitute granulated sugar for a sugar substitute because I, I, don't, I don't roll that way. I don't like it. So that's my fruit now other snacks i like to eat cheese um it's very good for you get calcium i don't drink milk i hate yogurt i will put it in my smoothies but just the texture the smell makes me gag and i just i've been like that for a really long time i have to force myself to even eat a spoonful i have to pinch my nose it's bad i'm very picky so I don't eat yogurt, so my calcium comes from um, calcium supplements that I take at night, but also from my cheese. I like the mini, bell, mini baby bell cheeses. I get the original. You can get any sort of kind that you like, any flavor. The little um, the laughing cow cheeses are really good as well. You spread them on some toast. Um, this next cheese is from Cacique, it's Ranchero Queso Fresco. This is a Spanish cheese. It's actually Mexican. Uh, it's delicious. It's a little bit moist. There's a little bit of water in it. So you, when you put it, make sure you s store it in a, a Tupperware container so that it stays moist. Um, it's not as it's not dry like a cheddar uh, or some of those other like blocks of cheeses. It's very moist. It's very similar to queso blanco, which if you are Puerto Rican, you know what that is. But it's basically a white cheese, but it's a little bit moist, not as dry. Uh, it, that one is a little bit drier than the um, Mexican version of it, but because I'm here in the States, I can't find that cheese. But if you go to Puerto Rico, anytime you're there, you will find queso blanco. It will be part of your meal, your breakfast, your lunch, and your dinner. So I love this. It's delicious. Uh, other snacks. Oh, I like um, guacamole. It's really, really good. I get the holy guacamole. <laughs> the minis. These are 100 calories. I don't count calories, but I like how these are already just uh, pre-packed. Um, they're tiny. No sugars. They got a gram of protein. You got three grams of fiber. Um, and you can use these um, on your sandwiches. And they come like little, little individuals. You can pop them in your lunch bag for work. Eat them with pretzels, with uh, vegetables, anything you want. I put them in my tacos. I also like to snack on um, olives. I like black olives. I know that my husband thinks I'm weird. I get black olives on my pizza. I love it. Black olives, these are the large ones, um, no sugars. It does have some sodium, so just be careful with that. Um, there's really not a lot of, nothing nutritional about this, really. I don't see anything on there. No iron, nothing, just a snack that I like. Um, oh, I have to show you these. These are so freaking delicious. I showed these Vitalicious Vita Tops in my May favorites. This is the banana chocolate chip. I just bought these yesterday. 
I love these. They have 15 vitamins and minerals for you, so it's really, really good for you. They're really low on sugar. This banana one has 8 grams of sugar, but it has a whole list of um, vitamins. It's got zinc, biotin, niacin, calcium, vitamins A, C, E, B12, B6, um, a whole bunch of other things. 5 grams of protein, 9 grams of dietary fibers, 200 milligrams of potassium, 100 calories per individual box or per little by the top. Delicious. Their website has so many different flavors. You can get actual like custom kits that you put together like sample packs and get it delivered to your home. They come in dry ice. I'm going to place an order soon um, when I get situated in my new house. Since I'm still in my old house, I'm not going to order it because these will last me until I leave. Another one that I like is the um, dark chocolate or deep chocolate. This one has a little bit more sugar. This one is 11 grams, so I try to have these not every night, um, not every day, just because it's a little bit more sugar than the other one. And on the website, they do compare this to um, the natural sugars and dietary goodness of an apple, and there's actually more in these than there is in an apple. Just letting you know. This one I just found, they must have brought this new flavor to my grocery store, but this is the Cran brand. I love cranberries, they're really good for you because they have a lot of antioxidants in it. This one has also 11 grams of sugar, but it does have 4 grams of protein and again, 15 vitamins and minerals for you. So Vitalicious is a really, really wonderful snack. Um, it's good for breakfast with a bowl of fruit. You can have it as a snack with your coffee. Uh, you can eat at room temp. You can put them in the toaster oven. I put mine in the microwave for 20 seconds and they're perfect. So the next little snack that I'm going to show you is from Sensible Portions Garden Veggie Straws and Zesty Ranch. These are so delicious. You don't even know. If you've never had these, you need to go buy them. I have found these at Walmart and my local grocery store called HEB. I live in Central Texas, so I'm going to be missing HEB when I go to Colorado because that doesn't exist anywhere but Texas. But these are 30% less fat than a leading potato chip or a leading brand of potato chips. No artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. It has one gram of sugar, and I think it's just because the ranch in it um, might, I think that's what has the sugar in it. But um, you do get less than one gram of protein. You get a little bit of iron and a little bit of vitamin C. But this is great because my son loves these, and they're the perfect size. I'll show you. He's been actually snacking on these. So they're just tiny little straws. They look like french fries. Um, but these, they're really, really, really good. Um, you can get a per serving, which is seven of these little straws is 130 calories. Um, sort of, it's certified kosher, no trans fat, and zero grams of cholesterol, and non-GMO. So if that's anything of interest to you. They also have the apple cinnamon. This reminds me, have you ever had those crunchy um, little twist things from Taco Bell? They have so much sugar on them. These taste exactly like that, but with a slight apple flavor to them. Oh my god, we have gone through so many bags of these, so I get these like multiple bags from Walmart because other places don't carry it. This has two grams of sugar, one gram of protein, and again, it's, you know, kosher, it's vegan, um, just really, really delicious. I love these, and it's a great snack. It's a great dessert. When you're watching a movie, don't get the popcorn. Get some of this. This is good stuff. And I just got these yesterday. I've never even tried these yet. Um, these are all natural crispy wheat, healthy grain popping snacks. Apple cinnamon, um, only 16 calories, made from whole wheat, high in fiber, no preservatives, no additives. This has three grams of sugar. So again, I stick to things really low. In sugar, they have others in uh, honey flavor, sea salt, onion, garlic, and original. I don't know if you've ever had these. The brand is Mr. Wheat and they look like this. I don't know if you guys have these in your local grocery store, but there's three grams of protein, 2% calcium, 6% iron, and um, no vitamin A, no vitamin C, four grams of fiber, um, total carbohydrates, 25 grams, two per serving, um, you can have up to two, and there's seven servings in here for 110 calories for two of these little, I don't know, let's just see what this is. Um, I saw these, they look good. I needed to find something that has something sweet that I could actually eat at night as a dessert because if, if I could describe myself in any way to you, skip dinner always and go straight to dessert. If you put a molten lava cake in front of me, I would die for one of those. Those are my favorite. A chocolate chip cookie, I could kill for a chocolate chip cookie right now because I just love dessert. So it's really, really hard for me to like 
keep this up but these snacks make me kind of forget about the fact that I'm like strictly no cakes no cookies nothing like that no ice cream um, and I find that it's helping me a lot so these basically look like one of these like rice cake things um, also those rice cakes are actually pretty good just keep the lo sugars low um, or just get like the plain one and eat it with peanut butter oh and I forgot to grab my almond butter from the fridge that's also a good substitute as well for regular butter it's a good spread, but these are just like these little poppable, um, like just, I don't know. I've never had these. It has a lot of cinnamon on it, which I love. It doesn't have, I don't see a lot of like sprinkled sugar on it, so maybe it's not that bad. So if they're good, I'll let you know in the description box. So that is basically my snacks and things that I have incorporated into my diet. I've reduced my Dorito intake and my popcorn and... I gave up my Nutella, I, I can eat Nutella with a spoon, I eat it with my fruit, but no more. So hopefully going forward, healthy lifestyle, healthy living, healthier teeth. I hope that this video was helpful. Maybe it inspired you to kind of give up something. If you like sodas, maybe not give it up completely. Maybe reduce the amount of sodas you intake on a daily basis, weekly basis. Substitute uh, a dessert one night a week into something um, more healthier, like the Vitatops. That's something that you might actually like. Just give it a try. It's only $5, $4 for one of those uh, four packs. And if you don't like it, you know what? At least you tried it and you know that it's not for you. But maybe this inspires you to kind of change some things that you don't like about your diet or maybe you've been wanting to but you just didn't know where to go. The grocery store is very overwhelming. So I hope that this helped you. If you have any questions um, about healthy eating, just anything in general, I'm an open book, so just ask me and leave them in the comment section. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Click the link right here, and it will take you to my main channel so you can subscribe and show support. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's at Glamour by Lexi. Also, the name will be up somewhere on the screen. And I hope that um, you have a healthy eating day, and maybe that will be a permanent change that you make, and I hope that it works out for you as much as it's working for me. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye.